Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new, welcome in. I'm Lynn the Crafty Cook. If you are been here before, welcome back. Um, we're gonna take my mama's basic meatloaf recipe and we're gonna add a little extra flair to it. We're gonna make a bacon wrapped meatloaf. Um, I did this one night and I declare my family just went nuts for it. Thought it was absolutely wonderful. So I can't make a plain meatloaf anymore. I always have to make a bacon wrapped meatloaf. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing that. It really helps a lot. Um, and ring the bell for notifications. Give me thumbs up. It helps the algorithms pick up my videos and leave me some comments. All of that stuff really helps a YouTuber get seen. Um, and that's what we're all about. So with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. First of all, I've got my meat here that's been falling in some water. It's not quite completely thawed out yet, but it's real close. So we're going to Dump it here in this bowl. Try to get the water off of the package. All right. I've got it in two bags because there's one piece and here is the other piece. I had it in two little small sections. I wanted to make a bigger meatloaf than that, so y'all, when I make a meatloaf, this right here is what I stir it with, my hands, because it just mixes it up so much better. We got our meat in here. Boom, that's about oh, maybe two pounds, pound and a half, two pounds. Now we're going to cut up our vegetables. And I've got my handy dandy little chopper here. You all have seen me use this a lot and I love it. I've got two. I've got this one that's kind of small. But, I mean it's small as far as it's not real deep and then I've got one that's deeper. Depends on how much I'm going to be chopping. So here we go. We're going to cut up this pepper and in my meatloaf I always put red, yellow, and green pepper or combination of such. Um, this is going to be orange and green because that's what I have, okay? It really snaps, doesn't it? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up the rest of this because what I do not use in this meatloaf, all my garbage bowls back there this time, what I don't use in this meatloaf, I'll just stick up there in my bag in the freezer and... Grab it out the next time I need onions and peppers and celery. Okay, there's that pepper. Now we got this big old green pepper here. Now we call this mirepoix or something like that. That's what its actual name is. Or the Trinity, which when you see one, you see all. Or at least my mama did. Onions, peppers, and celery. Onions, peppers, and celery. And most of the time she added a tomato to that. So. A little piece of that. Okay, we'll get the rest of this pepper here. Get him whacked up. Then we're going to add some eggs. Now I've got to have an egg or two and some cracker crumbs. 
All right, this is a strawberry onion. And I'm also going to fix fried squash tonight. So, I do not need near all this onion in this meatloaf. But it's a sweet onion, and that's what we like. They make great onion rings. I made onion rings one night out of one of them. And I had enough onion rings. I swear I believed to feed the whole neighborhood. There was, it, I just kept frying onion rings. I kept thinking, am I ever going to get through? So I'm going to cut about, about a third of that onion. And that is, like I said, a strawberry onion, and it is sweet. Oh, I think my thing is about too full. There we go. Some of that up this way. Maybe I can get the rest of this cut in there. Maybe I should have gotten out the big chopper. I didn't think I'd need it. I thought this little one's fine. I don't have that much to chop. But you never know. Never know. Okay. Now we got to do some celery. Okay, let's dump this in this bowl right here. Because it is full, that is for sure. So I'll take my hand and scoop some of it out. Just like that. And there's no way we'll put all this in one neat loaf, y'all. No way. We do not need that much in a meatloaf. This is the way I de-string my celery. You can break it, but you can take this right here and run right across the top of it. Right like that. And then you've got your celery done. So it works just fine to do this. You want to break it or you want to, however you, you string it is fine. You don't even have to string it, but I don't like the strings. I can remember my mama saying, Years ago, when my babies were little, that my brother, when he was teething, she would give him a stalk of celery. And he would just gum that celery till it would be nothing but strings. You know, I don't know if that's the best thing to do or not. I, to me, I would think he would choke on it, but he didn't. He lived through it just fine. But... I don't know that I would recommend doing that for you new mamas out there, but they do have these little, my kids had them, and I think you can still get them. It's like a little mesh bag that you put fruit or vegetables or whatever in and screwed it on a little handle, like a little, just a little handle, and um, they would could eat it. And my babies did that a lot. Um, strawberries. And you could freeze stuff and put it in there for them. Or um, you know, just whatever. But mine mine did have that little thing and it was handy. Alright, let's chop up this celery now. Stuff gets hung up in there and then it makes it harder to chop. There we go. Just got to turn it the right way. It's like holding your mouth. Go you get your mouth in the right way, don't you? We 
I got one more chop. We got it. There we go. Hose is itching. Okay. Now then, I'm going to add some of this. <coughs> Onion and pepper. Oh, got a half cup, a little more. Now I'm going to grab some of this celery out of here and throw it in there. This is something I do not measure. I do not measure when I'm making a meatloaf. I go with what looks about right. Okay. Now then, I've got all that back there to put in the freezer. I've often rinsed my fingers again. All right. Now then, let me grab us a bowl to break our egg in. Okay, I've got out two eggs here. It's got, I don't like the looks of that egg, y'all, so I'm going to pour it out. See, that's the reason you break them into something else before you. That one looks good. All right, there's our egg. And. We need some tomato sauce, but we don't use all this. Just use part of it. Probably about a half a can. This is a 15-ounce can, so probably about 8 ounces. 6 or 8 ounces. About half a can. That's all you want. Otherwise, you're going to have a cracker loaf, not a meat loaf. And here's our crackers. And I just do my not like this with my hands. Just crumble them up right like that. Just crumble them up. Pop them right in that bowl. And that's almost a whole sleeve of crackers. Okay. Now what do we need? Salt and pepper, don't we? We need some salt and some pepper. All right, there we go. Generous amount of salt. And pepper. All righty. Now then, here we go, y'all. I just start right like this. My hands just start squishing it all together. There's a couple of pieces of meat that's not thawed out. That's all right. I'll use them in something else. It's about a hamburger patty worth. I'll let them thaw out and get them another day. You just want to get this all mixed up good. Right like this. We may need some more cracker crumbs. And we'll I believe we will need a few more cracker crumbs. If you all have frozen vegetables, you can use it. If you have dried vegetables, you can use it. Um, you can season this with onion soup mix. Um, Mama always put green peppers, red peppers. You can put a jar of pimentas. I'm wash my hands so I can get some more crackers. Um, you know, we tend to cook like our mamas did because that's what we grew up eating, so that's what we like. So I believe we need just a few more cracker crumbs. All my potatoes are boiling away. Let me turn them down just a little bit. I've got green beans and potatoes on over there. If you're in the South, you know what I'm talking about. You cook your green beans and then you throw some new potatoes on top of it. If you're not, you may not know what I'm talking about. When I say potatoes and beans, it's green beans. Good old fresh green beans. All right. I believe that is about what we want right there. I just added 
few more little crackers. All right, I think that's going to hold together good. All right, now then, I'm going to show you what we do to it to get it in the oven. All right. Y'all, this is easy. You think a bacon wrapped meatloaf? How on earth are you going to make a meatloaf and wrap it in bacon? Well, you kind of mold it. Kind of a molded meatloaf, not a wrapped meatloaf, I guess you want, might say. Let me get us some room here. All right. I take just a loaf pan, right like this. Set it right there. And we take some bacon. Good old bacon. Lots of bacon. All right. Let's see here now. I don't know how many pieces it's going to take, but this meatloaf is completely covered in it. So I take it and I lay it right like this. You want it to come up both sides. Right like this. Okay, and you kind of want to overlap it a little bit. Okay, right like this. Right like this. And you want to overlap that bacon a little bit. This bacon's kind of funky shaped. Got a, one end's a lot fatter than the other. So I'm just going to try to do the best I can. This is what you want to do. You're just going to layer it in this pan right like this. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I hope you can. I can't even see my... I think y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. Pull this up. Okay. So just do that. I mean, it's just easy, y'all. Once you do it, and you'll go, well, that is pretty easy. Um, you'll be doing it all the time. Okay, want to get all that covered good. I'm going to put one more piece right in here. Right like that. All right, now then, we're going to come up this way on the corners. Okay, now I'm just letting it hang over the side because you'll see in a minute what we do with the extra. We'll see in a minute what we do with all the extra. And then we come back on the other side and do the same thing. Just let it lay over the edge, right like that. Then I'm going to have to wash my hands. And I usually use a whole pound of bacon. I don't know how much I've got here. Um... Because that was a great old big three pound package and I've used some of it. But I usually use about a whole pound of bacon. Y'all, that's probably what makes this so good. Let me get out the stuff to do our glaze with, which is ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and brown sugar. Okay, y'all. All right, this is something I do not measure, okay? Start with your ketchup, just like that. Ketchup. And some Worcestershire sauce. Oh. Tablespoon. 
half cup of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and this is just a soup spoon. Maybe a soup spoon and a half of brown sugar. Y'all make this as sweet as you want it, as sour as you want it. You can leave it out. You can just put ketchup in there if that's what you want. Get those brown sugar lumps, and I'm going to taste it. Perfect. That's perfect. All right. Now then... Take your handy dandy little taster and brush there. You want to brush this. All that bacon on the inside with this. Brush it good. Because you want this to cook down into the meatloaf as it bakes, okay? So you want all this brushed good. Right like this. Okay, see how I got all that brushed good? All that up in there. Now then, we're going to take our meatloaf. And you're going to start packing it in here. And you want to pack it tight. Because you want it to hold together. Okay? So you're going to really pack it all down in there good and tight. Right like this. Here we go. Get all of our good veggies. Okay, there we are. Push my hand off again. Now then, you want to take your side pieces first and flip those in right like that. Then you want to take your pieces right here and bring them this way. Right like that. Then you want to take these and take them across that way. Right like that. Okay. There we go. Now there's our bacon wrapped meatloaf. Let me get a pan and I'll show you how we before we put it in the oven. Alright, I got us out a Pyrex dish. I'm just gonna flip that over right like that. There's your bacon wrapped meatloaf. Now we're going to take this glaze, ketchup, brown sugar glaze, and we're going to just really coat this good. All over. Top, down the sides, the ends, everywhere. You want to put it everywhere. All over it. All over it. And you all might want to mix up a little bit more to have on the table because my family likes it. A lot of people put ketchup on meatloaf. Mine want this. Okay? So I'll mix up a little bit more in another bowl. Now you just bake it until it gets done. And I'll probably put a meat thermometer in here so I can know when the center of this is really good and done without having to dig my fork down through it. And I'll show you what it looks like when it gets done. Okay, we're going to bake it. It'll probably take it an hour, I'd say at least, maybe a little more. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay, we're back. The meatloaf's out of the oven. I'm going to turn y'all down so you can see it. See that? I'm going to take it out of this pan here in just a minute. It did not hold together like it usually does. I think maybe I didn't pack it tight enough. The reason I said you have to pack it real tight. But I'm going to try to scoop it up here and put it on this tray. Okay. Wish me luck, y'all. 
I believe I did it. And there you have a bacon wrap meatloaf. Yum, 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 yum. All right, y'all need to remember like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and leave me some comments. And that'll be all for this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.